Chana Masala, Indian Chickpea Curry What is Chana Masala? Chana Masala, also known as Chol, is a savory chickpea curry from northern India. Typically, chickpeas are cooked in a mixture of spices along with onions and tomato. Why you'll love this recipe. This recipe for chana masala is easy to make, using canned chickpeas is convenient and saves time, but you can definitely use dried chickpeas and cook them for this dish. Delicious, full of flavor from the combination of fragrant, toasted spices. Nourishing, this chickpea curry is vegetarian and naturally gluten-free. Ingredients you'll need. Spices, garam masala. Cinnamon stick, you can use ground cinnamon if you don't have cinnamon stick. Cloves, are small, thin and black, used commonly in pumpkin spice. Green cardamom pods. Star anise, shaped like a star, brown in color and has a licorice flavor. Curry leaves, if you can't find fresh curry leaves, omit. Fenugreek leaves, usually sold dried. Bay leaves, usually available dried, with a flavor similar to oregano and thyme. Nutmeg, is a small, oval seed with a warm flavor, used in pumpkin spice. Chili powder, different brands will have different levels of heat, choose one that you like, decrease the amount if you don't like it too spicy. Black mustard seed, quite pungent and strong in flavor compared to their yellow counterpart. Coriander powder, comes from the seeds of the cilantro plant, are small beige spheres in appearance. Cumin powder, comes from cumin seeds, which are small brown colored and oval in appearance, has a smoky nutty, warm flavor. Turmeric powder, yellow slash orange in color, slightly bitter. You can use the powder form of these spices if you don't have the whole spice. However, it's more fragrant to toast and grind your own spices. Aromatics and chickpeas. White onion, sliced. Fresh ginger, sliced. Garlic cloves, from one garlic bulb. Ghee, which is clarified butter, you can also use butter or vegetable oil. Water, for thinning out the sauce. Tomato sauce, or diced tomato. Tamarind paste, for a touch of acidity, you can also use amcor powder, mango powder. Sea salt, for savory flavor. Granulated sugar, to balance out the flavor and acidity. Chickpeas, canned, or you can use dried chickpeas and cook them until tender. You can find most of these ingredients at your local supermarket. For the spices, you can find them in major supermarkets or Indian grocery stores. How to make it? Gather spices into a bowl. Set aside. In a large pot over medium heat, add in ghee and saute the white onion and ginger until onion softens. Add in the garlic and all the spices. Fry until the spices are aromatic and fragrant. Transfer the spice mixture along with the onions, ginger, and garlic into a high-powered blender. Add in water, tomato sauce, tamarind paste, salt, and sugar. Blend on high speed until smooth. Transfer sauce to a large pot and cook over medium-low heat for about 20 minutes to release the spice's aroma. Add the canned chickpeas into the sauce and continue to simmer for another additional 20 minutes. Taste and adjust the seasonings. Cook until the sauce reaches your desired consistency. Remove from heat and garnish with chopped cilantro. Serve warm with steamed basmati rice and fluffy naan. How to serve? Serve chana masala with cooked basmati rice and fluffy naan, omit naan if gluten-free. Pair the chickpeas as a side dish alongside spiced potatoes, aloo sabzi, potato and cauliflower, aloo gobi, chicken tikka masala, or butter chicken. How to store. Store leftover chickpea curry in an airtight container in the refrigerator for up to 5 days. Note, leftover chickpea curry will have more flavor and taste even better after sitting in the sauce for a period of time. How to reheat. Stove top. Place chana masala in a large pot and bring to a simmer until the chickpeas and sauce are heated through. Microwave. You can also reheat the chickpeas in the microwave, be sure to use a microwave-safe bowl and cover with a lid, until heated through. 